Hi guys, today we are looking into this 7 inch day clock with 16 alarms. This can be an awesome thing for elderly people to set some reminders or to just provide some easier daytime information for people who have problems in realizing what time of the day it really is. So I'm going to take it out of the box and show you all the functions which we have. And so here we are. The box comes also with some nice user instruction guide which explains everything about normal function and also about the remote control. It comes with an AC power adapter and a screw-in stand and the remote control and the clock itself. To use the remote control we have to remove this battery protection here and the stand we can screw in in the back. But we can also hang it on a wall with this hole here because we can plug in the power from the side so we could mount it totally flat on a wall. So here we are with this display. It's a nice one, really good visible from all the sides, as you can see, even from the top and below. So it's absolutely no problem to see it. We have a lot of options here, either from the back control or with the remote control. What's really cool is that we are already on the correct date and time, so I didn't have to adjust it somehow. It was running in the background, so that saves a lot of time to set it up. So it looks also like it will survive any power outage. That's also very important, especially for elderly people. They probably wouldn't realize that there was a power outage during the night and then they would do everything at the wrong time. So this is not going to happen here, absolutely perfect so the easy things which we can do here are the color change just with the key up and down and left and right and we can also change the appearance and all the displays have actually two options they have one with the moon or the sun and without as you can see here we are without here we are with the next one without and with the moon now because it's during the night and during the day it would display the sun but then of course we have the different reminders we can click here on the menu but we can also select between different languages as you can see here then we can set the time if the time wouldn't be correct we could change it here we have a 12 hour 24 hour option then we can adjust the date if needed we have two options the months day year or the day months year we have some different daylight saving times for north america of uk and we have the brightness for the day. As you can see, we can change that extremely. We can reduce the brightness to almost invisible. Of course, we don't want to have this during the day, but during the night, as you can see, now it's on 10%. It would be still visible during the night, but of course, it's now so bright you can't see that. But really amazing the difference. So you don't have to do anything. So you can always leave it like that and it will automatically change during the day and during the night. And we have different alarm volumes, alarm duration. And then we have the different alarms underneath here. We can activate or deactivate everything like the wake up here. When we press OK, we can change the individual things. We can change the time. We can also define how many times it will be active like Monday to Friday or weekend or daily or different days individually. And you can see there are so many things which are already here, but you can do much more if you put an empty folder on either the root of an SD card or USB stick. It will use the name of the folders and provide the information here as template. So I'm going into that now. So here you can see there's empty. I press OK here. But as soon as I plug in this SD card here, now I'm pushing it inside and let's wait. It shouldn't take too long and you can see these templates here. I have predefined this on my PC. And so we can choose from anything which I have added as a folder on the SD card. Like close the window here, press OK. We can set it to any time and activate it, for example, for daily reminder. Press OK and then it will be active. And so we can activate much, much more directly from here with the remote control. 
and so I've set here an alert for brushing the teeth uh, for 9.26 p.m. daily. That should be pretty soon. We are at 9.25 now. So we're getting close, just one second away. So we can see the message and hear the sound. And so we can stop it with any button here from the remote control. But this clock doesn't only work as a clock or as a reminder when you put a folder called YFY on such a memory card or USB stick and put your family pictures inside. Then you can add it here in the back, push it inside and after a couple of seconds it will turn into a wonderful picture frame which shows all your personal images. And to go back to the clock or the reminder you just press the menu button here. So it's a little bit hard to give you any kind of recommendation. I mean everything is working, the alerts are working, the clock is working, it's even super reliable. We have this dimming, you will never have to uh, change or adapt the correct time because we also have the daylight savings time option and it works even as a picture frame but everything is really basic and especially the setup of the reminders is super super basic. I mean this would have been a really nice clock I would say in uh, the year 2000 or so but I think in the year 2022 we could expect at least an app with Bluetooth connection or even Wi-Fi connection so you could set this from remote maybe even check if the people have been confirming the alarm if they are still alive and using this confirming the alarm that they have seen that using this actively maybe even update the images and the reminders from remote so it's a little bit hard to give a final conclusion but if you are still interested i'll put down the link to the amazon listing down into the description so you can check it out and order it right from there if you like it and i hope i've been able to help you a little bit with this video if you have any questions or comments just write to the comment section below and i'm always happy to talk about these things and if you like the video give me a thumbs up subscribe my channel thanks for watching see you next time